WMBG, we are Williamsburg's radio station. How's it going, everybody? Ty Hodges here. It is after 3.15, and that means I would like to welcome you into the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg, which always deserves a cowbell. So we get a little cowbell for Jen over at Retro Daddio for making this possible. We have in studio today a full house because we have Hangar 9 in studio, and I would like to welcome everybody into the studio, all five. Welcome, folks. Thank you. Thank you. And, that, and as you can hear, is it is a chorus. It is a cacophony of voices in here. A packed house here. Uh, so who's my designated talker in here? Who are we going to go with? Yeah, I guess I am. All right. Guess, <laughs> well, don't sound so excited. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, everybody's telling me to shut up. So. All right. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about the group. How'd you all get founded? Well, uh, Mike and I started out, we've been teaching at Matthew Whaley for years, and uh, he walked by the classroom and I was just learning to play guitar because I hadn't learned how to play an instrument. I felt like everybody should. And then uh, a few years later, we, we started doing uh, these jam sessions to raise money over at the VFW. And then Mike came to the second one and Mike and I have been friends for a while. And he picked up the keys in 2011. And then uh, this guy joined us in 2014. We went through how many bass players did we go through? Several. Like yeah. Four or five. <laughs> finally, ba finally. Even bass yeah. players, you know, they're a little, they're a little twitchy. And uh, um, Scott Brown just joined us last summer. Welcome. And, um, Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Dave Piatok in 2014, last summer. And uh, we've just been having a lot of fun. And we're just surprised that people let us get to, you know, pay us to go play at their, their establishments. But yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. And I feel like I should preface this for the audience. You're going to notice a, uh, a little bit of a spacey sound to the microphone there. That is because it's going to amplify and make him sound super fancy when he sings. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, so that's yeah. what that is. He doesn't always sing like he's got a, a robot in there. <laughs> it sounds good. So, so how long have you all been playing together, roughly? Um, this group right here hasn't been a year yet. Hasn't been a full year yet. But Hangar 9 started playing... Um, Officially, really, uh, December 14th, 2014? Yeah, first, first gig was December, December 17th, 2014. Yeah, yeah. Daddios. So, so you guys are like a franchise, then. You're just summoning members <laughs> in and out. You're just rolling yeah. along. <laughs> and so, how, what's, what's your favorite place for you all to play? Is it bars? Is it different venues? You know, what's, what's the best place for you all to, to play? Well, I think it's different for everybody. You know, I, pr preferably, the best place to play is, is outdoors. I think, in my opinion. But in town, um, you can't beat the stage at the Triangle. The it's stage just, at the Triangle. Yeah, I've can. heard that answer a lot before. Yeah, you can't beat the stage at the Triangle. Um, we like playing Kogan's. It's a little cramped in there. but um, Similar to here right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, 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 so we're, we're, we're good at doing that. Um, Daddio's has its own flavor. Um, it's a... It's a pizzeria first. It's not really. It's got a. Bar. It's a pizzeria. Pizzeria with a bar in it, and lots of families there. Uh, when we first start playing, and then as the night goes out on, you know, the the, the kids start leaving. Um, we, yeah, parties. Parties are fun. We play on the deck at uh, Eddie Montero's house. And, um, NASA. We played NASA. NASA. That's right. We yeah. played NASA. You played NASA. Yeah. Yeah. They had some uh, some anniversary. Up, yeah. What was that? Uh, hundredth year anniversary. We played. Now, see, NASA I would I would I would have led with NASA probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably would have led with NASA. We're building, building our way up to NASA. Yeah, Madison Square Garden next week. And, uh, um, but I think it's different. Everybody has their own preferences to play. Kogan's um, tends to be a little central when it comes to the music in Williamsburg. You know, right now, they got a lot of real, really talented bands in there. Um, and, and us. <laughs> so so modest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what has the reception been like to your band out there? Have, have have you gotten to the point where people are really starting to recognize you guys and they're starting to come out? You got got any groupies yet? I guess that's the the big sign of success right there. Uh, I don't know about any groupies. <laughs> but yourself. But <laughs> all right, Dave. Yeah, he's got somebody on the payroll. Um, we get we get good responses. Um, there are a couple of people who come out and see us um, whenever they, they hear that we're playing. We don't play as often. We got, you know, uh, he's, a, he's an engineer um, working on some top secret stuff. He's a, he's a school administrator. I apologize. I just to let him stay in the band. Uh, he's a rocket scientist, and uh, he and I are both Chris teachers. Chris, computers all day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're teachers. 
So we don't get out as, as often uh, because of schedules and all, but um, I think the biggest compliment we get is our set list because we play a wide range of uh, genres of music uh, from the Beatles to you know, uh, Frank Turner. It's a new song we just added to the set list. Um, Billy Joel to, um, you know, Fuel. Prince, Fuel, Fuel. Yes. Uh, Jack White. Black you Black know, Black we started playing a song and we don't play loud. We don't play loud because we want people to be able to have a conversation without shouting and leaning into in the, their neighbor. And um, I heard this guy shout out, we were at the Triangle, and we, he goes, is that Clutch? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he plays Clutch. Um, a song that uh, we're going to play for you today, uh, people have shizammed. What is that song? And ask for CDs, and we're trying to get some, some music recorded. But, um, you know, we, I think one, another compliment that we get is we look like we're having fun the entire time. And we make mistakes, you know, live music. And, we just laugh about it and um, we give each other a hard time. Um, setting up and taking down is, is one of my favorite parts because we just talk. The banter is, is, uh, is humorous and, and, and fun. You know, I just, I love these guys. These guys are, and, and you know, it's funny when I play by myself, I get nervous. My hand shakes, but when I'm on stage with these guys, I, I don't have any problems at all. Well, I can notice when you all started walking in and quoting Anchorman together, I, I realized that, you know, there's a, there's a rapport there. And, and there's something that you can definitely notice, especially with bands, I found, that if, if they're very business-like, they're, they're just kind of stern and, you know, they're tense and it's just kind of awkward a little bit. But, yeah. but when there's that passion behind it and it's just kind of loose and fun for everybody, it really shows. And that's kind of the vibe I'm picking up from you all. Yeah, it's definitely, it, it definitely it's you know. It's family fair. Yeah, we love it. It's fun. Oh, Man, when I yeah, when I mess up, and I know I know it's it's my fault, you know, and I'll say, all right, just just take it around again. Um, what do I, oh, it's like I got dropped off on the corner, and it's it's a major city, so they have to go around the block, to, and I have to sit there and wait for them to come pick me up. I look over at Scott Brown, and he will, he'll smile at me, shake his head. <laughs> I missed my place in the song one time because uh, 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 Starling Castro home run Yankees. <laughs> and, uh, is a, Yankees were on TV uh, behind the bar and uh, the Yankees won the game. <laughs> so no performances for you during baseball season then it sounds like. <laughs> More football playoffs. Oh, yeah, or, or any sp any major sporting event NHL. basically. It they just not. turn off the TVs. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to have Hangar 9 in studio with us here on the Super Sound Showcase. We're going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, we are going to hear some live music from one of Williamsburg's great bands. Stay tuned. This is the Super Sound Showcase brought to you by Retro Daddio here on WMBG. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Super Sound Showcase here on WMBG brought to you by Retro Daddio in Williamsburg. <laughs> Shout out to Jen. We love you. Thank you for sponsoring this segment. You are awesome. Everyone is awesome. Everything is awesome, like they say in the Lego movie. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this song that you're going to perform. It's an original, yeah? It is. Um, it's the it's like the latest one that we've completed, yeah, right? right. Yeah. Started it sometime last summer, and um, you know, I just started playing around. Usually, that, that's what happens when we write a song. Someone starts playing. What key you in? What are you doing over there? And then we just start playing, and sometimes it amounts. Most of the time, it amounts to nothing, but sometimes it becomes a song. And so, what is the creative process for you all? Like, how long does it take for you all to actually, from start to completion, to to get a song put together? Sometimes one night. One night, really. Sometimes it's you know two months, and it's, it just depends on where we are in the song and how much we want to change it. And that sounds great. Leave it like that, or maybe you could do something a little different. And so it just depends on the song. And then is that, is that a situation where you all get together and just kind of works off something? Or someone's just playing around one night on their own and has an idea and just brings it to everyone? You know, that's a good point. Because, um, yeah, uh, many times we, hey, I've been doing this. What do you guys think about this? And then play it. And then sometimes I go, nah, I think go. Uh, one time I brought something and played it, and they all made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds like Christian rock. Chris Van Dusen, yeah. So I'm like, well, I wasn't really going for Christian rock, so. Let's try something else. But uh, as long as you can take the criticism, as long as you're, and everybody's pretty cool, but I don't take it personally. You know, we just 
pick what's good, what sounds good, and, and get rid of what's not. And that's all that matters. That's right. And so what is the name of the song again? Did this you song is called Run Around. Run Around. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Hangar 09. Or Hangar 9. I always want to say Hangar 09. It's, I know. It's uh, Hangar 9. I got to get that right. Blame hey. Mike Lombardo for that. <laughs> yeah. Why the zero? Why the zero? <laughs> <laughs> but here's Hangar 9 with some original music here on WMBG. Take it away, guys. All right.
and gentlemen, Hangar 9 here on WMBG, the Super Sound Showcase. Everyone's fist bumping and high-fiving. Great job, everybody. Great job. Man, you all were joking with me. You had a, you had a tough act to follow from, from the previous show with Robert Hodge. I think you all did an outstanding job, so well done to everyone. If people want to find you, how can they do that? Where can they find you on the interwebs? They can find us on the, oh, the old interweb. <laughs> Um, Hangar 9 Band on Facebook. They search, search Hangar 09 <laughs> Band um, on Facebook, then they can find us and uh, we usually post our, our um, next gigs on there. Excellent. And uh, what are your upcoming gigs? What you got coming up? Well, we have Daddy O's on May 20th. And then um, I think we're going to take a break and do some, some uh, writing and do some recording. And then I think we're going to, yeah, the summer's really tough for us. But um, if something comes up, then, then we, if we can do it, then, then we'll do that. But I think uh, the last one we're going to have is May 20th at da Daddy O's, and then we're going to take about uh, two and a half, something yeah. like that. And I think we'll be back uh, September 8th, September 8th at the Triangle. So, uh, yeah. so basically, you got a summer hibernation period, and then, <laughs> right. and, then yeah. and then come the fall, Hangar 9 emerges with some new music for <laughs> yeah, the people. That's right. I think we will. That's right. We're, we're, we're excited about it. Excellent. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming into the studio today. It was awesome having you a part of it. Jen from Retro Daddio again, thank you so much for sponsoring yeah, yeah, this, yeah, for making style. this possible. And Hangar 9, thank you. Continue doing what you do because you guys are awesome. And everyone stay tuned because we will have more great stuff coming up here on WMBG.